This is 7.1 solving an equation of the form x squared equals a using the square root property. So the square root property tells us that if we were to take the square root on both sides of this equation, um, the square and the square root do undo each other and we do get the variable w by itself. However, we also will get two answers which are positive and negative, the square root of 64. So the square root of 64 is eight, which means we have two solutions here, eight and negative eight. So similarly over here, if I try to take the square root on both sides, um, I get w's, I get w by itself, but then I get plus or minus the square root of negative 16. Now, depending on the problem, um, you can have two different kinds of answers. So one answer you can have is um, no real solution because you cannot take the square root of a negative. So you have no real solution. Or if they do allow you to enter in complex numbers, then you could say, taking this out as an i, you could say w equals plus or minus 4i because the square root of 16 is 4 and the square root of negative 1 is i, giving you the two answers 4i and negative 4i. So depending on the problem, if it asks you for the real solutions, there are no real solutions, okay? But if they're asking you for any solutions or a complex solution, then this is the correct answer. Pay special attention to those directions.